0009 and today I got to present you the one yen knockout evasion mode of the square from A of extension MO1D battle damage and as you see it's a big box yes <laughs> but the box is really nice black they had the Wayne Yen in the top right corner logo in the left side they had a TFWJ deformation that's transformer Wayne Yen deformation and in the bottom left they had the MO1D battle damage and you just see the artwork of Optimus Prime is really really nice let's go and check his top of the box let me move the box a little bit like this it's a big box and over here you see they say MO1D I really like the artwork moving the box the other way it's completely black the bottom is black again and this other side they say battle damage really really nice artwork and let's go to see him completely in the back there we go and you just see they have a nice artwork of Optimus Prime in robot mode and vehicle mode let's put the box back again front there we go very nice artwork and this is all for the box let's open it and see him inside the first thing you got to see in the box is this big foam I took it from the box and that way I can show you what they have inside first thing you find is the instruction manual but because he transformed the same way like the small voyager I mean we don't need this the artwork of the box is very cool you know very nice let's open it and see what they have inside and you see they have optimus prime very nice shell this is the tanks for the back the shield with the axe the two blades and they come with see if you can find it there we go this one out Put it over here some back and this one is the extra head they come with here with the upper mount yeah let go and take him out from here and see how cool he look and there we him in his vehicle mode very cool let's see if we can fix it there you go. okay he can roll that's that's cool he have rubber tires and i think the paint job is very very nice you know it's kind of like uh no rusted rusted but you know it's uh being uh wore down you know um this is the size see still have kind of like the g1 uh color you know the stripe and the red and oops i forget to put the little there you go. <laughs> much better you see the windows kind of like a scratch no scratch more like a dirty 
some minor scratches over there, small stacks or burn you know, on the back. You know, very nice details. It's most like I like the way they make it like a burn it. You know, they burn over there. You know, the tank, the oil tanks, tires, kind of like a wear down. You know, the, uh, there you go, wear down. You know, the rims are all fade. Over here, because part of the legs, you got to see it's kind of like, uh, rusted a little bit here. Let me see if I can put it better in the light. There you go. Kind of like rusted there. You know. Over here, the top. Oh, yeah. So sort of burn, kind of like a burn over here. Scratches. Very, very nice. I like it. The front. Yeah, the front windows or dirt. Oh, he's still a little bit shiny, but it's all fade, fade out. So scratch, completely fade. Now the cool thing is, I discover over here, you can see over here, it's like they put on the sticker or the pen for the mirrors. But they make it kind of like a, you know, dirt. It's been, that's really, really, really cool details they put in this guy. Now, let's go to compare with um, some different ones and let me compare with. Um, let me take uh, the ROTF Little Class Optimus Spray. There you go. That way you guys have some idea of the size. I think it's quite almost the same size. I don't know if this could be more realistic, accurate. I don't know, in those days, the engines, I think these things are more taller because the engines more inside. This one, the engines over here. That's mean, yeah, this is a good size. Um, let me compare with um, one of the Human Alliance from the first movie. Um, you see barricade there you go I think that's more scale I mean of between truck and and car um, I think that's quite decent scale you know I, I know trucks are big I got it but yeah, I think I think this is a good scale. Um, he's still uh, bigger. See, so yeah, I think I think the Human Alliance is a good scale for this guy. And now let me compare with <laughs> this is the um, five pack evasion mode. Optimus Prime and yeah tiny yeah that's the boy of her size you see he's, he's had the same design see only is, uh, this one I only have one small stack but <laughs> same design just in gigantic size that's, <laughs> that's funny to see eh? a big difference <laughs> um, I don't bring any um, deluxe because that's gonna to look too too small but you know you have an idea how they look there you go there you go 
Okay, let's go and transform this guy and see how he look in robot mode. Okay, before we transform him in robot mode, I always try to use um, some tools. This one is a little bit messed up, but you know, you can use one of these. It's a little bit scratched over here, but it's still it's plastic because you know these and other transformers are kind of expensive and some panels they stay very peg that's really it's better to use something like this a plastic uh, kind of like a flat screwdriver and that way you can move some of those paneling um, do not use um, any kind of metal um, like a knife Sometimes you can make possible damage your your toys, your action figure, and you do not want to do that. You know. Okay. Let's start in doing this. Let me put this one on the side. And um, let close the mirrors. Close to the window. Move down. The small stacks, just push it down like that, just move it a little bit. Sometimes, give me a hard time. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> this happens sometimes, but there you go. Now, removing the oil tanks gas tanks there you go you see that little peg over there, there you go. that peg that peg go with this peg see? and you need to do the same thing to the other side Move it both are the same there you go put it in the side and now he have some new panelings but it's it's not too difficult it's the same method uh, transform him like the evasion mode uh, boy her size Optimus Prime from from Hasbro that's mean first thing you need to do is just move these two panels you can use your finger there you go voila and if you see over here you see these pegs they go in this little hole so over here so you go right there when you transform him. Okay. Now move this one a little bit out. There you go. It's like a double joints over there. Now you need to move the normal front windows of him. There you go. And to move it away. Let me try to there. That way you don't have any scratch. I think I scratch it a little bit here. Hope so not. You see you had the hands and the face is looking this way. Now for the hands part up oh, before that let look at him in the front. Yep. Over here in the front. And you know the same connection over here. I prefer to use this. That way I'm trying to don't scratch. It's better that way. 
trying to let's see if I can. There you go. Okay. There you go. Voila. Have it like that. Now we need to move this side paneling. Listen thin. Like in the other one, let's see if I can move this because his body is, is metal, the, the cab area. Sometimes these panels stay really, really strong. He let me, <laughs> let's see if I can use. So, there we go. What is it that way? Let's see if I can. This other side. There we go. Now I hope sorry. That can be more easy. Grab the tab like this and unpack it. There you go. There you go. Like that, and this part on peg. Can you see? Let's see if I can put it very well. We had this peg, this peg, you see, eh? that peg going this area right here. Right there, sorry for that. Right there. You can see. See this peg go right there. Now let me move this one a little bit farther. Let's put this part like this. This is the small stacks. And let's move this panels this is the panel for the back there you go Let's see this one want to move there you go this is the back panels for the truck mode okay for the vehicle mode sorry all right we almost have him now we need to untap this panel here. Sometimes what you can do is to just move this level. And that way you can have access to these panels. Or you can just move the whole hands like this. There you go. It's more easy. <clears throat> You see, the hands is like that. You just move it this way, going up. There you go. See, he have an extra panels right here. You just fold it up, and this is his hand. When you transform him in vehicle mode. You need to put his hands in this position, open, in that way they can flush in, in that way these panels can close. Okay. You have that part. Just trying to keep it moving in. Need to, let's see if I can move this one out. There we go. Just turn it. Voila. There you go. That way you can move the hands more outside a little bit. That way you can start in twisting this whole area. Yeah, this one's always been. And a little bit pain, there we go. 
Maybe you can start moving all this. Try to keep this one like that. There we go. There we go. Yeah, he never been a very good transformation, transformation. Let me put that one more down. There you go. Let me move this one up. Voila. We almost have a Calica Frankenstein transformer. Huh? All right. Let's take the legs. Now we can put them in that position or we leave it like that they got to dedicate to this area okay let me let me move the cameras slightly up in a second that way you guys have a better view there we go there we go Okay. Let's keep doing this. Um, you can have him like that. There you go. That's okay. Let me move the head this way because he could be that way okay these panels a little bit up I put this one hmm. a second right there there you go let me take this back panel now let me fix the arms first let me leave it like this a little bit let me fix the arms try to put in position there you go voila close this tab a little bit you just hold it now for the arms You need to close it this way like that, okay? You see that little peg when you move all this? See? You must just to move like that. Just push it in. And there we go. Do the same thing with the other side. Just move the arm. Take this one like that. Oops. There we go. Like that. In. Come like that. Close it in. There you go. I think this one don't stay very well. There you go. There you go. Okay, for the arms, just move it like that. There you go. Where the thumb? Oh, there you go. And close it up best you can. <coughs> There you go. Have like a fist. There you go. Same thing on the other side. Okay. There you go. Oops. Wrong way, wrong way. There you go. Just trying to move 
This one like this. Okay. There you go. Oh, like a fist. All right. Yeah, this part is not too bad. Now you can move this one a little bit up. A little bit up. That way you can let this palace open. Okay. Go oh, and that way I can take this one now. This whole area. And to move it in. Go. Now what you need to do is you see that tab here, this little connection right there. You need to put it like that. Kinda like come over a little bit and he lock. You do the same thing with that side. Now just close the doors. See you don't want to cooperate. Sometimes he this part always move. Make sure these panels are moved in that way all this get in. Oh, and don't forget to move these little panels down. And let's go to start with the legs. I know some people start with the other parts, but start with the legs. Okay, just separate the legs. You have these connections go together over here. Now, this is a new part that come now. Let's see if you can see. You can make a little hole for the tank. A little hole over here. This tire, you need to unpeg it from this hole and just move it to the new hole. This part, you unpeg it and just move like that. You see it's a connection over there? When you put this one back, you need like a slightly move it up in that way you can find the little peg. Now do the same thing with this other side. And pick the tire, move it, and peg right there. Take this, move it up, look what they will peg. And move it like that there you go now for the legs so the same thing with the evasion mode now this one sometimes they pick quite hard there you go there you go rotate move the, the ankle area Rotate up. Oh. Come on. There we go. Position. Take the toe. Oops. <laughs> Take the toe. Just move it. Now let's do the other part. Take it. Can't move in. See if you get it. This side, there we go. Ouch, my finger. <laughs> they tap quite good. Okay, move it. Move it. I'll take the toe. Put it there. And let me. Whoa! Don't, don't move with me. Come on. Let's see if I can put the legs in position. There we go. Put the 
have quite he's new that's mean I think I only transform him like a two or three times let's see if I put him in good position please don't follow me stay okay let me move the camera up and that's him in his robot mode and he is wonderful he is really really cool have very nice nice details around him I like the way they make him big and we still need to put the tanks in the back we got to do that in a moment but overall he is really really cool I really like him really really nice uh, he had quite a nice detail sort of around let me see if I can zoom a little bit and pull the camera a little bit up that way you guys can see how nice he look there we go he is really really cool very very nice detail let me zoom in a little bit higher there you go that way you guys have a good idea his face is wonderful nice nice detail in his face he look really really cool a little bit of blue in his eye really really nice his back small stacks are burned the same like the big ones really really nice paint job let on zoom in a little bit and that way you guys can see his chest area there we go the chest is really really nice detail I really like the way they doing on him really really nice scratches a dirtiness scratches there really really cool over here he still has his his flames really nice they're going down really really cool I like what they're doing over here cross, cross scratch let's go to check his arms his arms are really nice 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 details look at that that look really really cool you know nice nice details in his areas a little bit of blue over here really nice let's check one of his arms there you go really really nice I like this detail this scratch look really really cool really cool and then you see his hands over here have a little bit of kind of like a rust I don't know how I can call that it's kind of like a rust it look really really cool I like what they're doing with this mold really cool sorry for the shakiness of my camera trying to use this thing a little bit better let me zoom it out very quickly and let me move him more in position there we go let's check his legs the legs have a nice nice details let me move it a little bit up there we go it look really really cool the, the blue is kind of like a fading have some scratches really cool 
and move it down more look at this this is this is look oh sorry for that <laughs> this is amazing what they're doing with this guy really really nice the toes look at this is the part where the when he is in vehicle mode it's kind of like an oxidized all scratch this guy is amazing really really amazing let's check in the back guy is awesome I really like what they're doing with this guy I don't put the tanks because I trying to you guys see him completely and to that we got to put the tanks but check this area where the tanks supposed to go you see those two little pegs the the old oil tanks go over there but you see this still the flames still scratches not too visible like in the in the front but you can still see somewhere and fade out scratch kind of like an oxidized really really cool I, I love what they're doing to him really really cool really really nice and you see inside the legs I don't know if you guys can see it let me put it in the light and see if I can twist one of the legs that way you guys can see have a nice details of him let's see if I can put this check it out this this part over here I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom it in very quickly. It's all wear. And this part with the disc. See? Really, really cool. You know, this guy is amazing. Let's see if I can. There we go. Let me put him back. <clears throat> camera okay, there you go there you go. I think I have it all right there you go he is kind of a little bit heavy <clears throat> let's put the oil tanks and see how he look and that's him with the oil tanks and he look <laughs> really cool I like it and like I told you they had those little peg holes and they had the same little peg hole things you just connected to those little holes now he have some articulations like at the head you can move it left and right you can move it up or down quite nice movement for the for the arms over here is quite a very hard tight strong it's not ratchet but I think it's because this guy is too new but you can make some movements up and down just the guys is too new I don't want to mess him up um, he have a movement to the left and like a ratchet he have more movement until you move this panel he have bicep swivel there you go he bend in the elbow quite nicely he bend right there the hands move in two position like this and like that they had two joints but the, the fingers they are all connected that's mean he cannot have a uh, complete different possible fingers the thumb he just you can move it 
Hmm. This one having hard. Okay, you can move it like this. You can move it like that. Or you can close it in. Like that. He have wrist movement. And he have this other movement, but it's when he's transformed in vehicle mode. Okay. The guy is a little bit back heavy. He have waist articulation. He can move. See, it's like a friction joint. He have leg movement. The only you need to do is to move this tire a little bit. Move this and he can move it. And it's a soft friction. But it's kind of strong. You know. Might come a little bit weak and what I tried to do is to put um, nail polish trying to put it inside. And I think now it's much better. So I mean he can kick. Um, he have a kick front nice ratchet back there you go he have a little movement swivel in the in the legs right here not too much because they had this this mold over here they don't let them he have knee bending nice nice ratchet and he has swivel over here in the foot and you can move it up and back part of the transformation and the toe move a little bit part of the transformation and put him, him like that now he come with some weapons, accessories. He come with the shield, all better damage. Nice, nice shield. He come with the axe, really, really cool. Really, really nice. The axes, they have the, like a, the enemy gun trying to flu flow in the axe very cool and he come with two battle blades really really cool really nice still look like the enemy gun trying to flow in the blades and the best thing you can put that is sometimes slightly tricky the arms, let me put it a little bit down, again, okay, it's kind of like a MP series, um, you need to kind of like a open like that, you see they have a little peg right there, see that little peg that's mean when you got to put something like the axe, sorry, the uh, the blade. What you need to do is kind of like a trying to slide this. You put the thumb like that and trying to slide this a little bit. Trying to move the finger like that and trying to tab. Sometimes it's not too easy. Trying to tab the blade like that. And you have the blade already connected in one or one of his hand. You can do the same thing with the other one. But I got to put the shield. The shield is slightly tricky for this guy. Sometimes it give me hard time to put the shield. The best thing I find out is
to put the position of the hand, like when you transform him in vehicle mode. But the shield is almost the same thing again. You need to kind of like uh, play with the position of him tabbing this tab inside the peg that's mean you need to kind of like uh, play with it and there we go sometimes easy to tab sometimes it's a little pain in the neck trying to tab this the right way I really wish it they make them more like uh, the the UFO hands. Those are more easy to tab. There we go. There we go. And you have the shield. And if you see him, you can put it in some pose. You know, looking like a he putting the shield up, trying to protect himself. You know, really cool. Um, let go and take off the tanks and form the weapon. Now for the tanks, you just separate from the back and take this one and this is going to be the handle see they had the little pegs over here now you just move this one like this and there we go this is one section for the other part sometimes you need to use that tool I told you that way you can move this part up there we go let's go for the front just take this part and put it just right there and take this move it and connect these two parts and you have his weapon and this weapon go the same way like the other one with the little pegs and that Optimus Prime with his gun. The axe is really, really cool, but the problem is the axe don't have those little pegs for the hand. It's really freely, no matter how, how hard you can close his hand, I really wish they're making those little pegs at least over here in that way you can peg it in some way in that way he can use it but yeah it is that's that's a problem the the axis is loose but for display I put the axe kind of like in the back somehow holding there and uh, he look like uh, I'm Conan the Barbarian. Don't mess it up with me. Yeah, kind of cool. Another iconic position you can do is when he open his chest and reveal the matrix of leadership. Now, this is matrix of leadership. You cannot take it out from the chest, but let me zoom it in. It's a very nice, nice detail of the matrix of leadership right there. The center is blue. It's kind of like a gun metal around and a little bit of gold in the circle. And the cool thing is the inside look really, really shiny and the outside is all bad damage. Now, to you open this, you see this little connection right there? When you close it, 
this little hinge go unconnected like that you just press it and they go in to take it out you can take your two fingers and take it out like that but that's really really cool you can do that now for a scale comparison let me bring the um, five pack uh, evasion mode Optimus Prime Voyager very very cool now uh, for another comparison this is the uh, the OTM Dark of the Moon Leader Class Optimus Prime and you see I do some custom paint job in some area to make it especially over here the tanks some areas uh, you have a uh, UFO hands you know trying to make it more uh, chrome and for other comparison let me bring a very big big guy that way you guys can have a very nice scale this is one of my biggest transformers you remind that I use him for the for the domain base uh, set review let's see if I can put this big boy this is with Devastator Titans Returns Devastator let me put the camera a little bit higher but yeah he's more like uh, close to his uh, waist area you see Devastator is still more bigger than Optimus the MO1D body damage I put the camera take Devastator I like this guy now he come with a second face uh, in the back of him you have a screw you need to take it out and remove uh, his front face and the face is the one is uh, open mouth but I like with the mask with the closer mouth ready to combat because it look more G1 but it's your toy it's your preference you can have it with mouth open or mouth uh, mouth plate. Now, the cons of this guy is he's kind of heavy. The core is uh, die cast. I have problem with this area, the connections of this area. Every time I try to put the arm, all this section separate from the top um, the fits in the bottom this part of the feet and the bottom is more like a pin connections and they are slightly loose I really wish it's more like a screw that way I can screw it take it out put it like a like glue like a crazy glue brush or or nail polish let it dry reconnecting that way they're going more strong I don't know how I got to fix that um, only thing is this section in the other model you know the Hasbro when he flip to transform they stay this one keep going it's it's loose it's passed through and the hands i know they're trying to make it like an mp 
the hands are nice I really wish it at least one of the fingers more very iconic like a pointing you know let go you know and I really wish it could be like the regular UFO accessory because the shield the axe the the blades it's it's like a the UFO brand. I really wish it could be more like a the slot thing, and that way it could be more easy to put it in. And no matter you close the fingers. All the thing is, he have enough space that they can put some kind of battery. Basically, the 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 center core is big, and it should be put something to put a. I don't know, one of those small batteries for light up the eye. I think that's going to be cool because when you take off the head, it's a plastic, it's a clear plastic. I think they're trying to or make it like a pipe to the eyes glow of something, but it's like a smoky plastic for the area, for the center and the eye area. And they should be put a LED light. I know it may possibly be more expensive. Um, the gun, not bad, but not good. You know, I really prefer to buy a Forever Studio gun. They have one look like that one. That's mean to make him look much better. The pros is he is cool. I like the way they make him all battered damage, fade out, scratches, some area look like an oxidized, you know. It, it, overall, he is nice. And I recommend it. They have his, his cons, but that one can be fixed. But if you want something like that for your collection, I got to leave you the link below in eBay in that way you can check him out if you want him. And you can see if you want to see other Transformer, Star Wars, or other sci-fi uh, toy toys in my collection, just click subscribe and click the little bell. In that way you have alerts on new videos I put in YouTube. Please put a like and leave a comment. Your comments help me a lot to improve my videos. And like I always I say, enjoy your hobby and play with your toy collections. This is Anubis009 and I see you to the next time.